my name is Andrew Palladino, and I decided to do something a bit different than most people. I made a combination of Star Wars figures and football. Um, they're both passions of mine. I got the idea last semester when I was just doodling at the end of the semester. I was drawing Star Wars helmets. They all seem to be part of a team, and I kind of like that concept, so I took it a step further and made it a sports team. I love doing it because there's so many different possibilities. The medium that I used was uh, Photoshop, Illustrator, and a program on my Surface Book called Sketchbook. And the reason I did them this way and not in like pencil, pen, pastels is because I'm actually a graphic design major, and I decided to do something that I would be working with in the future. My name is Marix Ortiz Guerra. I just want to say that it made me feel uh, happy that a uh, technique that started as a uh, scribble in my notebook became beautiful pieces. My name is Joseph Fazina. I chose to do animals because I felt that it would be the perfect opportunity to merge my two passions, animals and drawing, into one. I chose to do the animals that I found were the most interesting, or the animals that I felt were the most different. I'm usually used to doing usually fish or insects or just reptiles, but I chose to mostly do mammals this time around. I hope to pursue a career that where I can apply my kind of drawings into perhaps concept art or comic books or perhaps anything else in the entertainment media. My name is Tony Lozeski. I fell in love with uh, shapes and figures and position, especially in figure drawing. Um, as you can see, most of my artwork, you notice the face isn't really detailed. The reason for that is because I wanted to focus on certain body parts, because I wanted to focus on the details and the shading and lighting. Um, one thing I saw improving as moving on with my artwork is the detail under the arms and, and the muscle formation in each figure. My name is Dorothy Berlinski. I have always had the desire to create since young adulthood. In many ways, the dialogue that I have with my art reflects the various scripts that have played out in my life. My art is informed by my love of nature and its beauty in the world. There is a hunger in my soul to reproduce what my eyes have seen to give it significance. Art is my form of meditation, a spiritual journey, an escape that can soothe painful feelings. Art for me is a means of self-expression which parallels my life and relationships. It is poetry of my emotions. It speaks to me and fulfills my passion. My name is Abby Sears. My concept for this semester was astronomy, astrology, new age culture, and things that I have really been influenced by when I was growing up. My mom was always the type of person who brought me to stores where they would read your auras and tell you your future. The most memorable thing that I think my mom has ever done was when I was really little. She took our upstairs bathroom and she painted it the night sky. Stars and a huge moon. That bathroom was like the coolest thing of my childhood. And so she really influenced my whole semester, I think. She doesn't know it yet, but a lot of the pieces have a piece of her in them, and I'm really proud of that. My name's Jose Aviles. Uh, the work behind me is all abstraction. All of my work is abstraction. It's all based on the music that I listen to. I kind of just draw what I see in my mind's eye, I guess. 
uh, none of it's gonna be the same. And I hope, like, you know, you guys interpret it differently. I'm Rebecca Kirsch. I decided to do a series based on a pet hedgehog named Toaster Strilla that I had that had passed away a few years back. I could imagine my hedgehog going on all sorts of adventures and I wanted to illustrate kind of fantasy worlds like that was different than this world where my hedgehog could go on these crazy adventures and they'd be family friendly. I've loved animals since I was a child. I'm a vegetarian and my grandma had a whole bunches of animals growing up so I was surrounded by animals all the time so I just grew to love them. I decided to use pastels because I had tried them once in drawing too and I really liked the vivid colors um, so I wanted to do a series in pastels because they're so bright and colorful. I'm Teddy Vick. I was inspired by my nephew. He was born in December. He's the first baby in our family, so it's like this whole new addition. It's been really a blessing. I was very inspired by the moments between him and my twin sister. It's totally new for me doing emotional pieces. I'm completely new to pastel, and I really wanted to express um, both of them together in color. This is Abby Sisson and her work is behind her. I would like to read her artist statement. I strongly believe that art is the strongest form of expression. I find that even when I don't intend to express specific feelings, they escape into my work. I feel blessed that I have been given the power to express my emotions without having to speak a word. My hope is that I become an accomplished and successful artist who can express my thoughts, emotions, and options into meaningful art. Art is the medium that I will use to help make a positive change in people's attitudes and actions. For my present collection, I chose the national and international issue of women's rights. I know that rape, verbal, sexual abuse, and body shaming aren't commonly talked about topics. I hope to start discussions. I hope to help people face the fact that women are harassed and abused daily all over the world. I enjoyed using mixed media in these pieces. I wanted to make each piece unique. I didn't have a preconceived idea about how each piece would look when finished. I don't plan things out. I just allowed myself to draw, paint, or glue images that depict as they develop in my mind. Once I get an idea, the piece starts to flow. Exploring my deep emotions and channeling them into artwork has been the most challenging part about doing this series of work. But it is time these topics were addressed, so why not do it beautifully? Hi, I'm Terry Burks. I didn't really realize I was drawing to escape, um, you know, life, my life experiences. My work is very emotional. It's all from my personal experiences. My medium I chose is pastel, and I started really enjoying that and drawing too. There's a lot of tools and, and materials you can use to blend, but I have to, use, I use my hands to blend. And so when I step back and I see what it looks like, um, all the colors are mixing together, then I feel good. I feel I had a productive moment, I had a productive day. My name is Jason Bunkun, and the drawings I drew are about, it's an autobiography. It starts off with tigers and koi fish, and then it breaks off into two stories. The koi fish is going up the river as a representation of me, swimming with family and everybody else, going through challenges. One koi fish makes it up, seeing gods. The gods represent the family for me, and afterwards, transforms to a dragon for being successful. 
And the other story is about what happened to me last year. Last year, April 3rd, I got sh into an accident. Was out of work. Starts off as a tiger in a forest, walking around. Sees the bird. The bird is consumed in fire. It transforms to a phoenix, as in me resurrecting, rebirth, and everything else. I'm Joanna Robinson. I was going to focus more on color and the different aspects of it and use kind of the Greek gods and mythology and characters um, to portray the color and it ended up kind of being reversed on me and I concentrated more on the Greek mythology, all these different stories um, that people used to tell and it was always very interesting to me and I wanted to show that in my art of how these characters kind of take on lives of their own. James Harrison, a uh, local artist, amateur artist out of uh, Hartford, Connecticut. My artwork is basically uh, uh, African culture, deals with African culture. Uh, I've done metalwork, ceramic, and woodcut work. Recently, I've been doing work for uh, uh, specific customers. And one of the customers was a female, and she wanted me to come out of my, my norm and not do uh, African culture uh, figures like, like Malcolm X she wanted me to do something more feminine. So I came up with a helmet that basically deal with female side of things, which you see right here. I'm Laura Nowinski. I wanted to focus on drawing and painting people while exploring different mediums. My goal was to try to capture their unique likeness. I'm just amazed how much a little minute change of mark can make a person look totally, totally different. I decided to use my family members as my models along with my cat of 20 years. I particularly enjoyed painting the starry chair. For that special chair is where my granddaughter and I sit to read her favorite stories. 